Hey what's going on guys, my name is Brandon for VPN FTW and today I'm going to show you guys how to check if your VPN connection is secure. Now chances are if you guys are watching this video and using a VPN, you guys want to stay secure online. So you guys want to ensure that your VPN is working. But before we get into checking, I just wanted to talk about the two type of main VPN leaks that can occur. So you guys can get a little bit of an understanding of how these leaks occur. So the first type of VPN leaks that occur are IP leaks. Now IP leaks can get a little bit complicated, but to keep it short, when a website requests an add-on or a program from your computer, it's actually allowed to reach into your system to grab that software. Now when this occurs, websites directly detect your host machine's true IP address. And if your VPN is not fully securing you, this is where an IP leak can occur. And second, we wanted to talk about DNS leaks. Now, DNS leaks are just the worst, but without getting too technical, I just want to show you guys this photo right here that basically describes what a VPN leak is. So if you guys aren't too familiar with DNS leaks, basically all your domain queries will be sent right to your internet service provider. So that means if you guys go on google.com, youtube.com, or anywhere on the internet, and your DNS is leaking, this means that your internet service provider will be able to see every domain you visited. This doesn't necessarily mean they can see the content of the domain you visited, uh, such as what YouTube video you watched or what you searched on Google, but they can still see what domain you visited, which defeats a huge purpose of the VPN. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about those two type of VPN leaks that can occur, but let's get into checking if our VPN connection is secure, guys. And in this video, we are using Private Internet Access VPN. This is one of our favorite VPNs that we personally love. So the first site we're going to head over to is xmyip.com. Now this will give us just a very basic rundown of our IP address. As you guys can see right here, it says our IP is 198.8.80.204. And the website can't tell that we're using any kind of proxy, and it says our ISP is Total Server Solution. So as you guys can see, our VPN is definitely working. I'm going to go ahead and click Additional Details here. And as you guys can see, it will give us a little bit of a map over here of where we're appearing from. So as you guys can see, we're appearing in Los Angeles, California, and we're on Total Server Solutions LLC. That is definitely not our internet service provider. So as we can see guys, the VPN is already working right out of the gate. So the next site we're going to head over to is HOWER.net. I think you could call that Hoover.net. Uh, I'm not too sure. But once this page loads, this is one of the best sites to check if your VPN connection is working, guys. And as you guys can see, our IP is still the same as it was before. So it looks like our VPN is still working. It says we're uh, hosted in Los Angeles. We're using a Windows 7. We're on Chrome. And this is what I want to show you guys over here. So we're going to ignore this DNS tab just for a second. But as you guys can see, Proxy, Tor, Anonymizer, and Blacklist, all these are listed as no. So if you guys are using a VPN or an anonymizer and you guys don't want anybody to know this is actually a great website to check so if you guys head over here this site does not detect that we're using any kind of proxy they don't detect that we're using Tor and they can't detect that we're using any kind of anonymizers and they can't tell we're on any blacklist so as you guys can see this VPN is squeaky clean just right out of the gate but we're going to go ahead and head down over here, which is my favorite part. So this right here contains a ton of info. We're just going to stay on the light version as the extended version isn't for us. But as you guys can see, our location still shows us as United States, California. Zip code is 90014. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. This down here. The JavaScript, Flash, Java, ActiveX, and WebRTC. Now, if you guys have Flash and Java installed on your systems, these will likely be enabled. Uh, Flash is enabled in our browser, but not actually on our system. We've actually uninstalled them for security reasons. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what these are. So as you guys can see, we have JavaScript, Flash, Java, ActiveX, and WebRTC. Now all these right here have the ability to link our IP address. So what this website will do, guys, when you go ahead and load it up, is it will actually pull these resources from your system. So if you guys have Flash, Java, ActiveX, and WebRTC, these will likely be enabled. And when you guys are using these, they have the ability to leak your IP address. So we're just going to go ahead and show you guys how to check if your VPN is working. And that is simple. Right down here, all you guys have to do is look at the IP addresses. So if you guys can come down here and check, there's two IP addresses showing up. So the first one is our local IP address. We don't don't really need to worry about that but the second one is our VPN IP address so you guys are going to go down here and look for IP addresses and if you guys see an IP address that is not your VPN you're gonna to want to go ahead and look it up and paste it into Google and that will let you guys know if you're having any leaks so when this pulls Java and flash from your system this will tell you what IP address the system returns so if it goes ahead and runs Java from your system and the VPN isn't fully protecting you it may actually leak your IP address so your real IP may actually be sitting right here guys and this website will generally let you guys know where your IP is leaking from. I know uh, when we had some web RTC leaks, it actually showed us that. But as you guys can see, our VPN is in full working mode, and it doesn't look like our IP address is leaking at all. So this right here is just an absolutely great site to check if your VPN is working. Uh, you guys don't need to worry about too much of the time or browser. The time is actually the local time set on your computer. And we have Pacific time set on our computer, which actually technically lines up with Los Angeles time, even though we're not located there. But I just wanted to show you guys that. So don't worry about too much of the time or language. These are just what's actually default set on your 
your PC, guys. But the next site we're going to head over to is dnsleaktest.com. Now, this right here will let us know if we have a DNS leak. And if you guys aren't too familiar, here's a picture that explains what a DNS leak is. But without getting too technical, a DNS leak basically lets your internet service provider know every website you've been on. So we're just going to go ahead and head over here and click Extended Test. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to watch out for this. So as you guys can see, it's going to run six tests right here. And as you can see, it showed up with our VPN IP address again. So it has our 198.8, and then it says our ISP is Total Server Solutions. And as you guys can see right here, we only have one DNS server that showed up, but you guys may have multiple. You may have anywhere from 5 to 10. Uh, we've seen it all across the board. And right here, only one DNS server showed up, but if you guys see multiple show up, don't get too worried. Uh, many VPNs use a variety of DNS configurations. Ours just happens to use this one right here. But I want to go ahead and break this down. So there may be a couple of things that you guys see here. If you guys are using a VPN that has their own DNS built in, you guys will likely see the ISP that they're using. So right here we're using private internet access and it looks like private internet access is renting out some servers from total server solutions. But it looks like our DNS queries are being secured by private internet access's DNS. But you guys may see a couple of things here. Now one thing you guys may see here is a bunch of ISPs labeled Google. Now don't get too worried if you guys see that. Google actually runs a free DNS that's under IP 8.8.8.8 .8 and it's actually a free DNS that anybody can use in the world. This means anybody corporate can use it anybody personal can use it and a lot of VPN providers like to use Google DNS as it's super fast free and extremely secure so if you guys see Google here do not worry about that that just means that your DNS queries are being sent right over to Google from your VPN IP address so if you guys see Google or something corporate related like this total server solutions LLC your VPN is working and you guys don't have any DNS leaks but one thing you guys want to watch out for on this page are any leaks or any ISPs that show maybe Comcast AT&T or Time Warner Cable for example if you guys are in the United States and using Comcast internet, what you guys are going to want to watch out for are Comcast IP addresses. So if you guys have multiple that pop up here, you guys are going to want to look for IPs that look very similar to your home IP address, and you guys are going to want to look at the ISP. So if you guys are in the United States and you're maybe using Time Warner Cable, AT&T, or Comcast, you guys are going to want to look for all the IPs and ISPs that have that name. So if you guys happen to be using AT&T internet and you see an ISP here that says AT&T, likely your DNS is leaking. So if you guys are overseas, you're just going to want to check for the name of your ISP in this little box right here. But if you guys do see something that resembles your IP address or your ISP, that likely does mean that your VPN is leaking. We have a written guide over on our website where you guys can learn how to plug these leaks instantly. It's not hard at all, but we'll have a video on it in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to mention one more time, in this demonstration, we're using Private Internet Access VPN. They are our favorite and number one VPN. I'll have a link to them in the description below, guys, if you want to go ahead and check them out. And if you guys have any questions or tips, please leave them down there in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all out there staying safe.